So a warm welcome to everybody joining me for this week's Tuesday Tips with Taylor. Here at Always Best Care, we strive to provide quality of care in the same way that we would provide care to our loved ones. For this week's video, I wanted to switch it up a little bit. So we're going to be uh, learning how to make a fun fall slash Halloween activity. We'll be making some origami jack-o'-lanterns that can be hung. Um, it's a fun craft that you can do with your loved ones. If you're a professional or a family caregiver um, watching these videos, something you can do with your clients. I hope that you find some enjoyment in this week's video and certainly if you have any questions on home care or the support that we can provide for you and your loved ones at home, please don't hesitate to give us a call at 860-533-9343. With that being said, let's jump on over into a quick little tutorial on how to make some super cute jack-o'-lantern uh, origami pumpkins today. All right, so here's what you'll need. You will need a square sheet of orange paper. I'm using construction paper, uh, eight and a half by eight and a half. You are also welcome to um, use any ribbon, string, whatever the case may be, and a pen or a marker to make our jack-o'-lantern face at the end. All right, so you're gonna take your square piece of paper and you are going to fold it in half the hamburger way. Once you have a crease set in the middle, you'll undo it, flip it, and you're gonna fold it the hamburger way again. Make sure that crease is nice and tight. Open it up. We're going to flip our paper over and turn it in the shape of a diamond. You're then going to fold in half so that it makes the shape of a triangle. Open that back up, turn it, Fold it in half again into a triangle. Make sure those creases are nice and tight. From there, you're going to take and flip it upside down. Give it a nice little tap in the middle there. And we are going to take our two corners on either side, bring them up and into the middle. And then this is going to fold down so you should have, once again, a little diamond shape. Now that you have your diamond on a smaller scale, you are going to take and you're going to fold your paper so that it lines up with the seam in the center. Get a good crease on that. And then you're going to come up to the top here and fold it right into the crease to the center again. Got a nice push. From there, you're going to flip your paper over and do the same thing on the other side. Fold it into the center here. And fold it into the center up here. Perfect. Once you have that done, you're going to take and open your paper up, flip it over. And at this point, your square should look something like this. What you're going to do at this point is flip your pumpkin over if you'd like, you can make a mark halfway up your seam in the back, but you're going to take this corner and you're going to fold it up to the halfway point. Flip it around and fold the other corner up to the halfway point. Now your paper should look something like this. From there, we're going to take and just fold the corner in here, just a little bit. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. Once all of your corners are folded in, when you flip it over, you have yourself a little pumpkin. From here, you can decorate your pumpkin face however you would like. I always like a traditional pumpkin with two triangle eyes a triangle nose, and a nice toothy grin. Fall is always one of my favorite seasons, Halloween being one of my favorite holidays. So this was definitely a fun activity for me to put together for you today. This activity can be done with people of all ages. So like I had said before, you can do this with clients of yours, you can do it with your loved ones. Um, it's a great craft for 
kids to do with their grandparents. Um, the last step, um, and this of course is optional, but your last step is to take a piece of ribbon, it can be any size, um, you can fold it up, and you're going to want to just tape it on the back here. So once it's all done, you can hang your pumpkin up and it will look something like this. Now remember, it's okay if your pumpkin's not perfect. There's plenty of pumpkins. Um, they're all beautiful in all different shapes and sizes, just like us. I hope again that you had such a good time uh, making this pumpkin craft with me today. And I hope that you join me next week for Tuesday Tips with Taylor. Thank you.